This is Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. Oh, we have to get the recorders going. Yep. Going. Okay, I'll start over. Uh, I'll call the meeting of the Park Committee to order. This is Wednesday, May 10th, 2017, 4 p.m. Uh, we have with us Alderman John Vanderleest, Alderman uh, Chris Weary, and myself, uh, Alderman Dave Nenai. Uh, Alderman Nicholson will note that he's uh, excused until uh, uh, he is present. So. Uh, first item, uh, first thing is approval of minutes of the meeting of April 26, 2017. Uh, the only thing I noted on that is that we have Alderman Vanderleest listed as absent and it should be excused. Okay. Because he did, that. he did call and uh, asked to be excused. So, uh, anything else? Okay, a motion to approve the minutes by Alderman Vandalee, seconded by Alderman Weary. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Adoption of the agenda. Uh, are there any changes? Move to approve. Okay, we have a motion to approve the agenda uh, uh, by Alderman Weary, seconded by Alderman Vandalee. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. First item is consideration with possible action and a request by the Royal Ponds Preserve Neighborhood Association to place a neighborhood sign in the Baird Creek Greenway along Huron Road on parcel 21-27. And uh, on your desks uh, this evening is uh, a sketch that shows you the sign that they'd like to locate there. And in our packet is a map of where it would be located uh, in the parkway along Huron. Uh, is there any discussion on it? Yeah, the Royal Park Neighborhood Association contacted the city and requested the neighborhood sign be placed on park property. The sign would be placed in the Bear Creek Greenway where the South Branch crosses um, here on road. The proposed sign would be placed on the east side of the road in an open space on the property. No trees would be damaged. The approval would be for the installation only. Eventually, if they want to come back and do some plantings, they would have to come back to the park committee for approval of those plantings at that time. Um, all costs would be the responsibility uh, of the purchase and the installation of the sign would be the responsibility of the neighborhood association. And so we have uh, Miss Vanessa is here from the, she's the president of that neighborhood association as well. Basically, it would look like the other neighborhood association yes. signs They're and all, size yeah. and design. Right? Size and design, correct. Okay. Uh, do you have anything you wanted? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, have okay, we'll have to uh, motion open the floor. We have a motion to open the floor second. and a second. All in favor, say if I was saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. okay. Thank you. If um, you could give your name and address. Sure. Tammy Vaness, 3521 May Apple Drive. And I, just a couple questions that. Um, our association did receive a mini grant for the beautification of our signs. So that is something that I would need to come back to Park Committee for. And uh, that mini grant was received, so it was a successful grant that was written. So at some point, I don't know who I talked to, if you want me to talk to, talk to Dan. Yeah, so okay. for the landscape, you would just go through staff on that and okay. just get it approved for us. It wouldn't go to Park Committee. Okay, awesome. So and I can give you that complete design as well. Yes. Okay, and then the second question that I had too was, um, you had mentioned, Donnie, regarding the um, the money that it would cost to put that sign in and I guess I just don't have the knowledge does that usually come out of a neighborhood association's budget or is that part of the did you apply for a $4,000 grant? Uh, a $4,000 grant? Yeah. How much did you apply for? Oh, just $600. But it was, okay. Okay. Well, what we can do is Dan and I will work with you with, okay. the neighborhood, with the neighborhood development perfect up there and we'll get it squared away. Okay. <coughs> that was all I had there. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, motion okay. to return to regular order. Okay. A motion by Alderman Weary, second by Alderman Andrews, return to regular order of business. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, we'll note that Alderman Nicholson is present. <coughs> uh, uh, so uh, we need a motion to approve the request to locate so moved. Royal Ponds Preserve Sign. All, motion made by Alderman Second. Nicholson, seconded by Alderman uh, Weary uh, to approve the request. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Good looking sign. <coughs> it was contingent upon all proper insurance and permits being obtained. All costs for the purchase, installation, and maintenance are the responsibility of the Royal Ponds Reserve Neighborhood Association. 
Okay, is that understood? Okay. House will make that part of uh, the act. Okay, number two is consideration of possible action on a request by Alderman Moore to begin a cost study and potential engineering uh, of expanding on or building a new park shelter at Farland Park. Uh, Alderman Moore? Thanks. Um, during the uh, public hearings for the stadium tax revenue or the excess and uh, usages, we had a constituent that had presented to us. Um, it was Bronson Smith, uh, one of my constituents, who had presented a rather extravagant uh, wedding type pavilion with full kitchens, venues, and all kinds of like, bells and whistles. Uh, but that, you know, kind of got the ball rolling with some other neighbors that are looking at more so maybe something like pavilion style where they can have uh, family reunions, kids' birthday parties, and things like that. Farland Park is situated right in the middle of all residential, so there's no commercial around it. It's definitely a neighborhood park. Um, playground is pretty nice. It's got a splash pad in it. It's got soccer fields. Uh, the shelter that is there right now is uh, really leaves something to be desired. So uh, I went to an Old North Neighborhood Association meeting. They had some ideas that they kind of wanted to bring forward, but I let them know that the first thing we should do is kind of find out what we could do, whether expanding on the existing with a pavilion is an option, um, if it's better to take that out and build new to get up to ADA compliancy and everything. Uh, we also might be dealing with some floodplain issues. So I wanted to get it for the committee and then just, uh, you know, I would just ask that staff can take a look at this and, and maybe see what kind of options we have before we really expend a lot of money into any kind of engineering or anything. But just really wanted to get it on the floor and uh, get it on the, on the agenda. Make a motion to refer to staff. Okay. Uh, have any comments by staff? No, he pretty much said everything. Okay. Well, my motion would have been to just direct it to us and let us start working on it, and then we can bring it back. I'll second the motion. Okay. We have a motion by Alderman Nicholson, second by Alderman Leary to refer the request to staff uh, to work on the concepts. One point comment. Mr. Chairman, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alderman Moore. This has been the back, back burner for a long time. We'll kind of rely on you to keep in touch with staff and bring it back sure. when you think it's ready. Absolutely. Excellent. When we take this up, we take this up at the bond when we bond, because that's how we pay for our shelters. We have to bond for them. So at that time, we would bring, like we do all the, all the projects we bring forward to you, that would be on there, and you guys could determine at that time whether or not that's going to be a top priority for you or not. But I think what I Alderman Moore was looking for was the feasibility of what could yes. be put there. So we're not we're really to bond for it right away, just what could be done, right? No, that's exactly what we're yep. going to do. Okay. Yeah. And I, I had explained, and the association is well aware that it's, you know, similar to Astor Park. It's a two to three year process, and, you know, we're just at those initial stages now. So. Has to wait for the pool. Pool right. first. <laughs> Farland Park is <laughs> the second. Okay. Uh, well, it makes sense to uh, take a look at it. Uh, do they still call it Pickle Park? Yes. yes. Okay. All the locals. Okay. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Okay, if now we'll take a vote. Uh, all in favor of the motion, uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, third item is consideration of possible action on a request by Alderman Weary to contact the Canadian National Railway regarding the availability of the abandoned rail line and rail yard that runs from Mason Street to Broadway. Uh, there was a, a lot of discussion about this in uh, the Press Gazette the other day. Uh, and uh, there were comments by uh, uh, someone from the county staff about how uh, uh, they may be able to look at other routes if uh, the rail line isn't available. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, did you have something? Sure, thanks, Mr. Chairman. I know we briefly talked about this two weeks ago on, on, under Alderman Stoyer's request. And since then, I was able to meet with Representative Genrich and Will Dorsey, who's the Northeast Region DOT director. And he procured some good contact information for uh, Canadian National because uh, it can be, as we all know, tough to reach somebody to make a decision. So I just wanted to officially get it going and, and pass on that information. It's uh, Jackie Masowitz. She's the manager of, of Public Works for them. And uh, obviously, we're going to look at it. We need to see if there's a willing partner and what's all entailed. So. Well, before we get into a whole bunch of this, this item really doesn't belong at this committee. It belongs at either DPW or Planning Department. Railroads are handled by DPW, property sales handled by the Planning Department. It comes to us when 
they do all their business, and then they say, hey, we're going to make this a trail, or hey, we're going to make this a park. That's when we get involved, the park department gets involved. I have bounced this off of Director Grenier and Dr. Bonk, and we all talked about it, and we discussed that um, all of these departments feel it's an appropriate action to move forward, but Dir Director Grenier has requested coordinating this project. So at this time, I would just suggest that you pass this communication on to an INS for their to work on it. Make a motion to refer to INS. Okay. Yeah, motion good. by Alderman Nicholson, second by Alderman Vandalis to refer to improvement <coughs> services. Uh, Mr. Grenier, do you want to? Sure. Give us your thoughts uh, on one of the things I did want to let the committee know is, even though this is being referred, and technically we're going to have to wait until our next <laughs> INS meeting. One of the things that we're looking to do, and we're going to have to have involvement with Improvement and Service Committee with the Department of Public Works, uh, Economic Development, and going to their oversight. There's a lot of coordination that needs to be done. So that's one of the reasons that I decided to, to request to have this all put under DPW's umbrella. We can go ahead and start this work. Uh, Jackie Macewitz and I have worked together for the last eight or nine years, so we've got a good communication there. Uh, and we will take the lead on this and we will ensure that all coordination with all subsequent committees or commissions that need to be taken care of are handled. Uh, that'll be part of what we discussed in June uh, under this action item on the INS committee. That gives us the ability to actually start the work right now once the committee takes whatever action they take, presumably to approve that. Um, it puts DPW in the driver's seat and gives us the authority to automatically coordinate with all other committees and keep this thing moving rather than have to put communication after communication. So we're just trying to streamline this out a little bit. And you know, as, as Director Kramer indicated, this is something that probably belongs either with myself or with economic development, and we're more than happy to take the lead on it. Okay. Uh, any questions? Okay, Thanks, now we have a motion and a second to refer to the Improvement Services Committee. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, number four is consideration of possible action on a property trade request with American Food Suite at the corner of University and Webster for the Easter Trail Connection. Uh, we have a, a map that shows the basically a property swap. Uh, would uh, enable us to uh, connect the trail uh, as we've talked about in the past and uh, it looks like it would also uh, uh, help the American Foods Development that's occurring now. Okay. Yeah. Any more discussion yeah. on yeah. the point? As he just indicated, American Foods Group approached us. They're in the process of redeveloping parcel 7.7 one. The parcel is located on the corner of University and Webster. Recently, the building on the property was demolished, and they're in the preparation of construction. What they are proposing to build there is a health care facility for their employees on that corner. The city was involved early in the planning for this development. At that time, we indicated that the city was interested in acquiring at least a 50-foot wide strip above the top of the bank along the East River for the East River Trail connection. American Foods was able to take that into consideration when they did their plans and they did their design and to provide enough room for the trail to be there. If you refer to the map that you got there are now proposing to trade the riverfront property for a piece of city owned land located between American Foods property and the Golden House. Their desire is to add a driveway on that parcel so that they could connect to University Avenue. Um, we have talked to other planning and DPW and they're, they're okay with it. If approved, the city would take 0 0.18 acres of land and in return would acquire 0 0.55 acres of land along the river. If approved, the, the property could be traded fairly easy through a quick deed process. And there is somebody from American Foods here to talk about if you have questions. Okay. Let me just ask one thing before mm -hmm. we get into it. What is the corner right here that's not included in it? That's a pump house there? Oh, okay. Public Works uh, storm sewer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a motion to uh, open the floor to hear from interested parties. 
Motion to open up the floor. Motion by Alderman Nicholson, second by Alderman Weary to open the floor. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, would you like to come forward and talk to the committee? Or? Sure. I, I think what's before you is what we've been working on for about the last year and a half. So we're, we're very uh, excited about uh, doing a, a land swap so that we can go ahead and get the uh, trail behind uh, as well and, and help you through the process of putting the, uh, the trail in there for the East River Trail. Um, and we'll then have access coming on to University, which we do not have at this point. So that's, that's kind of where we're at. So I'm open to any questions that you might have. Any so questions from the committee? Uh, I, uh, I, you know, I think that it uh, certainly improves that property and, uh, you know, what you're doing with a, a health clinic makes a whole lot of sense for your employees and families. And, uh, if we can work together to make this uh, successful for you, we'd be happy to do that. So. Uh, okay. Um, thank you. Motion to approve. Thank you. Uh, motion to turn to our regular order of business. Motion to Alderman Nicholson. Second. Second to Alderman Weary. You turn to the regular order of business. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Quick uh, question. Okay. Donnie, it used to be a gas station back in the 80s. Has everything removed and cleaned up? We did a phase one study of all the parcels along the East River Trail connection, and I don't recall there being a hit on this, so it must have been remediated or there was no issues. Okay. Thank you. Motion to approve. Alderman um, Moore had a comment? Yep, just uh, a question actually real quick, and I'm not sure if it calls under Parks or INS, but with the uh, 2019 breaking of the ground here to get Webster Avenue reconstructed up to University Avenue, there will be that parcel from the river to University Avenue. Um, which I guess would be on the east side, uh, that really doesn't have a connection from the trail to the six-foot-wide all-purpose trail that's going to be running down toward Bay Beach. I don't know, is that something that INS will have to have concern with, making a connection to that, or is that something that's going to come through parks? Because we should probably think about that ahead of time here as well. We have been in, you know, talking to DPW about that trail connection, how it's going to be designed is the trail will come down Webster Avenue and will link up to our trail. Um, and Jim Burnett is here if you have specific questions in regards to that. As Where long as there's a connection, north I guess of that, that I'm not sure the route and the direction, but I do, you know, I know we have talked about making the connection okay. here right where it meets Webster. From the, from the river to, from the river to University? Well, it would follow Along this, Webster? It would follow the river until it hits Webster, mm -hmm. and there it would hit the multi-use trail and go north. Okay, because the multi-use trail, I think, and and Mr. Burnett can yeah. maybe, maybe we talk clarify on that. Yeah, it, Director Greeny or about because that construction uh, actually runs from university up, so there's that small parcel that has no connection. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, Steve uh, uh, Alderman Moore was wondering how uh, we were talking about this land swap uh, with American Foods to allow the, uh, uh, the trail uh, connection. And uh, Alderman Moore was asking, uh, is the plan to connect that with that multi-use trail going, that's planned for Webster Avenue that will go north? At this point, I don't believe it does. Yeah. Okay, so the north Webster cross-section will carry south far enough to do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. That wasn't in any of the renderings or anything showing that connection. Okay. Okay. Great. So thanks. We have a motion to, okay, we have a motion, motion to approve Nicholson, seconded by Alderman Vandalis to approve the request, uh, Donnie. Continue on city attorney review and approval of the proposal. Okay, those contingencies, uh, all in favor of the motion signify the same aye. 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 Opposed? Yes. Motion carries. All right, number five, director's report, Donnie. Okay, Saturday, next Saturday, May 13th. The United States National Historic Society will be hosting a event at Bay Beach Park, and at that event they'll be presenting Bay Beach with a recognition award for its 125th anniversary. So it's a pretty cool recognition, so we're happy that they're joining us and they're going to be on site. Bay Beach opened this past weekend. Do you want the committee members to be there? If you? you'd like to, and you're welcome it? to come. Um, about somewhere between 12 and 12.30. Okay. for the award. Um, Bay Beach opened this past weekend. We had a great crowd, even considering Sunday, if you were out on the day on Sunday, it was a little chilly, a little windy, but uh, we had a really nice crowd for that. The walls have started to go up at Astor Shelter, 
The ADA walks at Edison's are nearly completed. We got a little delayed with all the rain that came. And uh, the Green Bay Parks, Green Rec social media, I Love Green Bay Parks campaign, we kicked that off this week. We are encouraging the community to get out to the parks and do a video and send us that video to tell us why they love Green Bay Parks. The pool's open June 10th. We'll be hosting our neighborhood meeting for the Colburn Pool issue on May 18th, um, 5.30 at Franklin School. And you're all welcome to that if you wish to come. So and that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, in regard to the meeting uh, about Colburn Pool, I, I wonder if we shouldn't uh, notice that in the Friday packet uh, that a quorum of the committee okay. or council Good might point. be present. Because I know the, the attorney uh, would, would probably recommend that. Okay. okay. Also, uh, they're on the, the concepts will be placed on the website Yeah. as well. Yeah, they're already on the website. so. Uh, Alderman Weary and I met with the staff to go over uh, the, the uh, four proposals, uh, but uh, you know, for the others who haven't seen it, it is on the website. Let me see what we said. Uh, Alderman Nicholson. Question for Dan. Dan, did you take a look at uh, Wilder Park? What we yes, about we looked feedback? at Wilder Park. Uh, there is an inlet right where all the trees are right on the corner. So our game plan is when it dries up a little bit, We'll do some minor regrading, do a little filling here, a little cutting here, but okay. very minor, just to try and get the water to drain to that inlet a little better than it does. But there's a lot of trees in there, so we can't do any major regrading without killing the trees. So okay. We'll Sounds do what good. we can and see what happens, and if it needs to be addressed further, we'll look at our options. Good feedback. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Chair. Any other questions or comments? Okay. And that is our motion to approve, uh, to accept the uh, receiving place and file the director's report. Moved. Moved by Alderman Weary, seconded by Alderman Vandalese. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? To adjourn. Okay. Uh, I have a motion by Alderman Weary, seconded by Alderman Nicholson to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you.